Sneak peek of the song from the new fireworks show at Disney World, Happily Ever After. That and more on This Week in Disney. Mr. Cheesy Pop. Hey everyone, it's Max, and welcome to This Week in Disney, where I give you all the Disney news from the past week. Yes, I know we've been doing the live version of this show for the past few weeks, but uh, I couldn't do it this weekend. So, you're gonna get the old school This Week in Disney. I give you all the news. Let's talk about it right now. So, we got a sneak peek of Happily Ever After, the new song from the new fireworks show, Happily Ever After, which premieres May 12th at Walt Disney World. Of course, it's replacing Wishes, and the new song sounds a little bit like this. Yay! Very, 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 very Disney show sounding. Um, I mean, yeah, that I can p totally picture it. Uh, it is, it is very, 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 very Disney. It's, it sounds like a really lovely song. Uh, Jordan Fisher singing it and Angie Keelhauer. Uh, Jordan Fisher, of course, from Moana, and uh, Angie, a uh, newcomer, she was on The Voice, actually. So that's amazing. Can you imagine having your dream come true like that, singing a song? You know, I really think one day maybe Disney will uh, go with one of my songs. How about um, Magic in the Air? Personally, I think that would have made a perfect fireworks uh, song, but, you know, one day my dream will come true. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that is your new song. It's, I, I mean, it, 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 you know, that's, that, it, that is a song that sounds perfect with that. Um, it's nothing like brand new and, 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 you know, it's got that very, very Disney, uh, sound that we've come to expect from their, their entertainment. I think we're all going to be listening to it a lot, I would assume. <laughs> and we'll all be singing it and we'll all be stuck in our heads after the show as we're leaving the park that night. Happily ever after. You know? Yeah. Um, but it does, I mean, it sounds like a lot of other Disney, uh, celebratory show songs. <laughs> Speaking of Disney music, the music of Pixar Live is coming to Hollywood Studios, and that's going to be starting on May 26th. This sounds like just so cool. It's going to be performed three times a night at the Theater of the Stars, uh, at Hollywood Studios. Um, so it'll be after, uh, Beauty and the Beast, uh, the live version of that. So the same theater, and it's going to be uh, a live orchestra with music from the films, and the characters will, will, will come out. That sounds so cool. I love, I love seeing live orchestra versions of uh, things that I love. It's just, that sounds great. And Hollywood Studios needs something like that, so that's great. Now let's talk about some Pandora World of Avatar news. Uh, you, you pass holders, you guys are very lucky. You're going to get a preview um, before the park opens. Uh, so I am uh, very excited to hear from you. Do any of you have your pass holder preview night tickets yet? Uh, I'm assuming they're all gone by now. But uh, basically pass holders are going to get two hours to go in and, and uh, uh, explore. So you you Disney World pass holders, I'm going to be uh, looking uh, to hear from you guys about your first impressions of Pandora when you go. If you are planning a Disney vacation on May 26th, Seventh and later, um, well, May 27th at least. So the first few days of Avatar uh, opening your Fast Pass Plus reservations have already begun. So you can make those already and make sure you get on those rides. So that's pretty cool if you happen to be planning to go uh, that weekend. In the first uh, month and a half or so of its opening, uh, Pandora will be open till 1 a.m for uh, Disney World Hotel guests. Those will be extra magic hours nightly. And also, and I think this is really cool, uh, the Satu Lee Canteen, which is uh, the major uh, uh, restaurant in uh, uh, Avatar, it's a, uh, a fast casual kind of restaurant, is going to have mobile ordering. That's so cool. So you can order from your uh, My Disney Experience app, the food you want, and then when you go to the restaurant, you're going to be able to click a, uh, a tap an I'm here button and your food will be there. That's great. Uh, I think if that works out well, you're going to see that at a lot more places. I personally would love to do that because waiting in line when you're hungry is the worst because I get hangry. <laughs> So that is going to be a great experiment. And that restaurant's going to be very interesting. It, it, the, the, the menu looks like nothing like we've ever seen at a theme park before. Like like the fish, like this fish dish. The, this picture looks amazing. And, and um, 
They've got like veggies and quinoa and and so they're going out there pork buns like um th those are very interesting too i've seen pictures of so they're going out there with that restaurant uh of course there's a kids menu so you, you know you, your typical stuff is on that for kids but i'm very interested in trying that new food and using my app to do it and finally bob Iger has extended his run as the disney ceo through july 2019 so he's extended it another year uh, he's searching for a replacement to take over. I don't think you trust anybody else but him, right? So, uh, that's what's going on at the very top of Disney. <laughs> Alright guys, that is it for this week in Disney. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the new Happily Ever After song. Do you like it? Or should something else? Or should there be a change in the style of music from Disney? Let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know what you thought of, um, this format of This Week in Disney. Do you appreciate the old, uh concise format of This Week in Disney, or do you like being there for the live thing? i just like to hear from you guys and see how you guys uh, like it, because I've gotten both sides, actually, um, uh, uh, of people being like, I love the live, it's great, we get to chat, it's amazing, and then I've gotten some other things where it was like, I miss the old format where it was like cut down and concise and stuff, so, I don't know, I think it's fun both ways, right? Yeah. Alright guys, uh, like, subscribe, check out my Patreon page, and have a magical day, everybody! Bye! Mr. Cheesy Pop!